my channel. So let me fix my hair real quick before I start so that, you know, I'm not doing all this during the video because don't we hate when people do this like this all the time? Like, oh yes, guys, yes. This video is all about empties, beauty empties. I have a huge box of stuff in here and there is some stuff in here that is full and that is because I'm going to talk to you guys about it and tell you guys why I like it and why I've repurchased it. Doesn't necessarily mean that I'm out of this exact one, but I did have one before that I probably just threw away the bottle. I'm terrible at keeping stuff. So now I have this box specifically for keeping things and every time I run out of something, I just put it in here. Let's get into this, shall we? LA Girl Pro Concealer because I run out of these all the time. This isn't necessarily empty. I could probably squeeze some more out of here, but it's pretty much done. I mean, it's been squoze. Like if I didn't have any other product ever in life, I would need this one. I need this concealer, an amazing product. And if you've never ever tried it before, I, I'm gonna force you. I've only been able to purchase them from the beauty supply stores that are local. So like, you know, just the random little beauty shops where they sell off-brand makeup and weave. There's really nowhere else that I've ever seen them. Um, I have seen some places online, so I do put links in the description box to where you can find them online. But if you wanna find it in store, you're just gonna have to go hunting for it. It's worth the hunt, okay? Because this is an amazing product. For $1.99, $2.99, you can't beat that. Would I repurchase it? Heck yeah. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This is my second time purchasing this product. It just helps my application go on so much smoother and it helps my makeup stay on all day. I love the smell of it. I love how it sprays. I used to use Fix MAC Fix Plus all the time. Daddy's home. Hey babe. Hey. Why are you home? Cause I'm about sick. <laughs> would I buy it again? I would definitely probably would buy it again. That doesn't mean I won't be trying other setting sprays, but I will be buying this one again because I love it so much. And this is MAC Fix Plus, and everybody loves MAC Fix Plus because it is just like a skin refresher, and it's basically the same thing as Smashbox Primer Water. My only issue with Fix Plus is just the way that it sprays as compared to the primer water. This, the way that this is um, constructed, it sprays a lot more evenly, whereas I feel like this spray is really blotchy. I mean, I used to use it all the time and I still really, really like it. I don't know if I would ever purchase it again just because I'm so addicted to my primer water. I've bought like maybe five or six bottles of this before and it's an all time favorite. Of course, right now I like this one better, but this is still a bay though. So I'm not really sure which one is more bay. Next product is this instant dry shampoo. You guys know that I love dry shampoo. I don't use it as much anymore as I used to just because I don't really wear my hair out as much anymore because I don't really get it done anymore, so. And it kind of helps to um, absorb some of the oil and give your hair like a lift, you know, and some more bounce, kind of revive it after it's kind of flattened. I love these, I've bought maybe four or five of these before. It's only like $6, I think, at Ulta, so yeah, I'd buy it again. This technically isn't an empty, because it's not empty. This is one of my favorite nail products ever. This is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Nail Hardener. I would have to buy another one because it's completely dried, ugh, flaking everywhere. It was It's completely dried out, like I've had it for almost three years. If you keep products for too long and then they go past their expiration date, they're not really good anymore and they won't work anymore. On the back of products, there's always like the little jar. That is the expiration date. If you buy this and then it says 24M on it, that means it lasts for 24 months. Look at it, it ain't moving. But if you have issues like me, with nails. One, I break my nails all the time. Two, I like to peel off my gel polish, which isn't safe for your nail beds because it tears your nail up. If you are addicted to acrylics and then wanna go back to wearing your natural nails, your nails underneath are gonna be crap. So you'll need um, a nail hardener just to keep them from being so fragile and breaking so easily. I got this from Walmart. Good nail hardener, I like it, and I would buy it again. This is It's a 10 Miracle Shine Spray. This is my holy grail. So it does 10 things. It's called It's a 10 because it does 10 things. It's supposed to add weightless shine, soften coarse hair, improve elasticity. It's an antioxidant, has environmental protection, anti-humidity, and minimizes frizz, thermal protection. Um, it imparts control and manageability, seals and protects hair and locks in moisture. So. I think it does all those things. Um, but it only works if you wash your hair and then while your hair is still wet, 
you spray this on your hair and then use it before styling. You wanna make sure that you get the product to lock into your hair and really do the work. Cause if you spray this on your hair after you're done with it, it's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna like sit there. I always use this before blow drying. I spray this all over my hair. Literally makes my hair so soft and shiny, bouncy, and it gives it this just amazing life. Is a little bit pricey, just a tiny bit. You can find it at Target and Walmart. It's not like a high-end, high-end, but it's $14 a bottle, I think, and it's not that big. It is really great, especially if you want to straighten your hair. I think this is a great product to use before you straighten it. I really like this. I'm addicted to it. I can't live without it, and I'm all out of it, obviously, mainly because Cameron decides to use my hair products because he wants his hair to be shiny but th this is not what that is for and I keep trying to tell him that but he don't listen to me. I haven't used it in like two months. You were using it a lot. But I haven't used it in Anyways, you contributed to me running out. Okay, this was meant for me. I love you. Yeah, oh, but I buy it again. Ugh. Um, this is Max Prep and Prime Skin Base Vis- This is actually not called Skin Base Visage, guys. Base Visage is the French name of the product. So it's actually called Prep and Prime Skin. Okay, thank you to the people who corrected me in the comments. I appreciate you. One of my favorite primers. I only have maybe like three or four favorites. This is my absolute all time number one favorite. It's not mattifying, but it it just, it really makes your makeup look flawless. Even though it doesn't make you look matte. I mean, it makes your makeup look good. So if you do photography or you do like video like I do, and you're using bright lighting, artificial lighting, this is really good for that because it just helps to blur out any imperfections and make your skin look flawless. The lady at MAC was telling me that it has light reflecting particles and blah, 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 blah. I don't know, it make your skin look good. So that's all that matters to me. I would definitely buy it again. I need to go buy some more because it's my favorite. A product that I wouldn't buy again is the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I'm obsessed with this pencil, right? And I've probably bought this six or seven times. It just makes your brows look really good. Anastasia makes really great products, so don't get me wrong. This is not me saying, ew, I don't like this product. That would be a lot. This is a good product. However, I will not be purchasing it anymore because NYX Micro Brow Pencil is the exact same thing. So this is $20. The NYX Micro Brow Pencil is about $6, I think six or seven, depending where you get it from. Obviously, I'm not gonna spend $20 on a product that's exactly the same. And I know it's exactly the same because Marlena from Makeup Geek explained that when products are manufactured, a lot of them are manufactured in the same building. So if it says made in Korea on the back and it looks like the same product, I mean, this is the exact same packaging. It's the exact same formula. It feels the same, it looks the same but it just has two different names on it and I'm just like. But yeah, this is a really great pencil, but I wouldn't buy it again because there's a cheaper alternative. So, sorry. NARS Creamy Con Radiant Creamy Concealer. This, my friends, was an impulse buy. I consider products really good if they're undupable. This is undupable. I've not been able to find another concealer that is exactly like this formula. And to everybody who says that the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is the exact same. You're lying to me because I've tried that concealer and yes, it is good, but it is not the same. It is not as creamy, it is not as thick. This is a better concealer. And I mean, honestly, I used it a lot, so it was worth the money I spent on it. I think it was $30 and I do not regret it. I'm pretty sure I'm out of this, but I was scraping the inside trying to get some product out. So I'm pretty sure it's gone. And I'm sad because I don't want to spend the money to go get another one. It's just so hard to shell out some money for something that you know you don't really necessarily need. You just love it so much. This is a luxury. This is like a treating yourself buy. I mean, if you have some extra money sitting around or a gift card or something and you just wanna buy something expensive, <laughs> get this. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Hands down, like nothing beats this. Amazing, like one coat and your life is given. This one was, I wanna say 20 something, almost for a mascara, that's a lot. But if it's a good mascara, I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind spending that much money again. It's a good mascara. Like most mascaras do the same thing. I mean, if you got long lashes, you got long lashes. If you got short lashes, you know, you're just, that's just it. This is the only mascara that I've ever found actually makes a huge difference. And you can tell the difference when you use it. You can, you can tell. The only problem I ever had with it was the name just because it's not it's not. It's not. Um, this 
my friends, is a product that I've mentioned millions of times. I just want to clarify, this is not something you can buy online. It is not available in stores. You can only, only, only go to a European wax center to get this product. So, for those of you who are wondering when I talked about it in my waxing video, if you haven't seen my video all about Brazilians and body waxing and all that stuff, just go find it. It's on my channel somewhere. Just go find it, guys. So this is a body wash. It is like kind of like an exfoliant and a body wash mixed into one, which is why I like it because it's an exfoliant, but you can use it every day. And I use this on the daily on my little areas because it really helped keep those areas exfoliated so that I don't get ingrowns as easy. I have not stopped using this since I first bought it. I buy one every four months, I want to say, every four months. It, it usually lasts me about four to five months. So I really like this product and if you do get waxed on the reg, I would go find a wax center and buy you a bottle because it'll change your life. And shout out to everybody who went to the wax center and told them that I sent you because I got points. Thank you guys, you're the best. I love Glam Glow products, first of all, I love Glam Glow. This is the only product that I've ever bought from Glam Glow. I've tried the mask. I really like the mask, but I just haven't brought myself to spend $70 on a face mask. This is a $40 face wash. It was worth it. I used it every single day. Did help clear my skin up a little. Like I said before, products aren't really what help my skin. What helps my skin is making sure that the inside of my body is taken care of and then it kind of reflects on the outside. I will talk about another video, but this is a really great product. Even though it's 40 bucks, it's like getting two products in one. You get a face mask and a face wash. It's so amazing. It tingles and it just clears your skin. It makes you feel super clean. It's a glam Glamorous product. Yes, it is expensive, but it was worth every penny. Would I buy it again? Yes. Would I buy it again right away? No. But I'll probably buy it again next time I, you know, have a little extra chump change sitting around and I'm like, hey, let me go get some more super cleanse. All right, last product is another face product. This is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. If you needed something for acne, pimples, spots, things of that nature, this is awesome. I'm all out of the solution. As you can see, it's just the pink stuff at the bottom, but I can't I can't use that without the solution in it. So, um, and I'll explain how to use it in another video. And I'm gonna do an updated skincare routine. So you guys don't have to worry about me not explaining enough in this video, because I am gonna do another video with it. And I do have another one of these that I just bought. Would I purchase again? Heck yes. Really good spot treatment for acne. Pretty sure that's it. Um, actually, I'm positive that's it, because there's nothing else in the box. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, you should subscribe. Link in the description box, or you could just click on my channel profile or whatever and subscribe. Bye. They just make me feel so glamorous. Glamorous, glamorous, baby, glamorous. The flossy flossy.